this is definitely giving old school kami videos from like 2020 yeah <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'm not gonna take too much time on the intro because you're looking at the title like, huh? I swear in last week's video, you were saying how you're juggling your job and na 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 na. Life can really come at you fast and you kind of have to be prepared. So this is gonna be like a get ready with me, hence why I'm looking a bit rough, but. But in last week's video, I basically took you through what my content is going to be over the next couple of months. I'm basically documenting my journey having left uni and trying to prove a point that I can make it without a degree. Just to recap, I have three radio shows which I'm actually getting ready for one right now. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. I had a job, <laughs> 9 to 5, and have a few clients for my own personal work stuff that I might get into more later now that I don't have a job. Very surreal to say because I was really comfortable in that job but without further ado let's get into this get ready with me but I'm not gonna be listing products or anything. I'm just killing two birds with one stone sitting down having an honest chat with you guys whilst getting ready for the show. I genuinely think it's my job in life to give my parents a heart attack. First you need now this. <coughs> Ciao. All right, so first question and possibly the most obvious question which you guys might be wondering is why did I quit my job? First of all, what did I do? So I was a digital marketing manager. <laughs> Very weird that I was in a managerial position, but anyway. I was a digital marketing manager um, at a corporate company. I, I can't, you know, <laughs> I, I can't really say much more than that. Obviously, I'm not going to bait the company out. I, I really enjoyed working there. I think I got along with everyone so well well my boss or now I guess my ex-boss uh, said I really you know shifted the the vibe and the whatever of the company in like a very positive way like they could feel my presence and everything and a few of my co-workers said that as well like it would just be very different me not being there which I really appreciated like <laughs> one thing about me I love compliments <laughs> but it was really nice to hear I'm, I'm glad I didn't just like show up and you know nothing changed i had to make content for this company every week obviously and on top of that do a lot of other things so because this company is like relatively small i started doing a lot more than i realized i would in the beginning because you know if anyone needs an extra hand it's this and that and i was the only one in marketing hence the manager title but like you know but i was in charge of all of the marketing especially online so that's creating campaigns and everything and with what i do like youtube and radio you'd think like that's a perfect fit and for a time it was i honestly wasn't even like meant to be working nine to five it's just that they needed someone to edit some videos of theirs and then they ended up liking my work and decided to hire me full-time that was such a blessing and i was really humbled and honored for all of the makeup skincare girlies i've already moisturized so you can relax we're doing very light makeup today, just concealer, a bit of blush, powder, that's it. So, the work was fine, I really enjoyed it, again, like I said, to begin with, loved working with the people, I became a corporate babe. One thing I'm so grateful about that job is, out uh, of the connections I made, <sighs> working with very big companies in this country, like, I, I'm just really, really honoured and blessed. But now that you have that context, the why, you're like, you know, Kami, you had this job, you had good responsibility, you, you know, you were being pushed, because I was. Guys, if there's anything, I've been pushed, but I'll get to what I learned at the end. You were pushed out of your comfort zone, you know, you were being challenged, and I love being challenged. So, you know, I was happy for some time, but as time went on and I started getting other opportunities, which I was quite honestly a lot more interested in than my nine to five i just started to spread myself a little too thin i think <laughs> i think i genuinely burnt out like i think i'm still in the midst of my burnout or recovering now that you know i'm back in youtube and on youtube and everything but i genuinely 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 spread myself way too thin committing to way too many things saying yes to everything and i'm starting to learn how to say no to say no let's just bear in mind that i'm young fresh out of uni thrown into a job which is still very grateful for where I have a lot of responsibility a lot of responsibility that I didn't mind I didn't mind at the time when I first joined like honestly I freaking love that like give me all of the responsibility I like taking charge I like feeling like I'm wanted and needed in a role that was fine but the more time I spent in that job the more time I realized like 
I only liked like minor aspects of it like I wasn't I wasn't fully in it and I wasn't fully aware of all that I had to do what what my role was because we were still fine-tuning it as the months went on which is okay I'm learning so with that and also saying yes to other opportunities that I was so excited about every other aspect of my life started to suffer because if you put your energy onto a thousand other things the quality of it is you know gonna reduce it's like I was choosing quantity over quality because I'm here to experiment I'm here to figure out like what it is I want to do in this life at least for now and experimentation and how I am doesn't really like <laughs> work in the corporate space corporate is steady safe you show up you get the job done we need to see results like that's it whereas i am creative <laughs> i like to try out other things and i think my toxic trait is that i think i can do it all and i think i can do it all perfectly because i'm just that determined like not to like you know toot my own horn or anything but i'm just that determined where i just assume it's me of course i can do it i, I can do whatever and i can do it well <laughs> It's like arrogant much, Kami. Like, God really humbled me. Really humbled me. So, as I said, things started to suffer. My Sunday podcast especially started to suffer. Not especially, I think my work especially began to suffer. I I'm not sure. But, you know, Sunday podcast started to suffer. Didn't post on YouTube. My mental health started to suffer because I was just doing a lot. But the thing is, I was enjoying it. What I wasn't enjoying was my 9 to 5 anymore i enjoyed going to work chilling with my co-workers making content but all of the stuff outside of that like admin stuff whatever it just it, and it's always gonna be like that with with jobs like they're, they're gonna be bits you like and they're gonna be bits you don't like but if the bits you don't like are overwhelming and you you know you're spreading yourself way too thin that's a red flag so i had been thinking about leaving for a few months now i just a few days ago just put in my notice <laughs> i could see my work suffering i could see my boss being like What's going on? This isn't like you, like, Kwani, pick up the pace. You know, we're here to make money. And if your work suffers, it's like you're stealing money from the company. <laughs> That's almost how I see it. Like, if I'm not doing a good job and the company isn't benefiting, it's like I'm stealing money. I think that's a very... It might be a toxic mindset, very capitalist toxic mindset, but it's it's ingrained in me and it's like, if I'm not being productive and I'm, if I'm not adding value, like, why am I there? And also, if I'm no longer getting as much value as I thought I was from the beginning, you know, it's also like they're stealing my time from me. <laughs> I don't know. So that's one reason, the spreading myself too thin. Another reason I left is like, I think it became, <laughs> people are gonna kick and scream when they hear me say this because duh, that's why you have a job. But it became like a safety net for me where I get really comfortable in places, especially places where I'm doing well. And I I no longer challenge myself. I become complacent. I, I just coast. And this whole series I'm doing on YouTube is, it's about me pushing myself and grinding and I'm not here to coast. And honestly, I was not getting paid enough for me to start being comfortable, for being completely transparent. Like, what they were paying me would not be enough for me to just like, you know, be comfortable and coast because I'm trying to, I have really big goals and whatever. So why I stayed for so long is because I'm like, let me have the safe and steady income of employment, which is great. <sighs> loved that loved seeing you know money come into my account every month but i genuinely believe sometimes the universe the universe oh god pushes you out of situations where you're too afraid to leave i always love the quote everything you want is on the other side of fear and i was i knew i knew i couldn't stay there for much longer it wasn't serving me it wasn't like going towards my goals it was just like i said a safety net until i find something better but because i got so comfortable i wasn't actively looking for that something better i really hope the lighting is okay guys but whatever yeah it was almost like you know it kind of killed my ambition because i'm like Ugh, you know it's fine like i'll just push it to next week like you know finding more clients for myself oh, it's fine like let me just you know focus on the work that's actually paying me but i'm also like not happy there so it's, it's very interesting i'm not gonna lie and finally to wrap it up in a cute little bow the real reason i actually left like which you know bleeds into everything i've just said prior is to focus on what i actually want to do because i want to be really intentional about um Oh, oh my god. Oh, I used the wrong one. I'm such an idiot. 
We'll fix it, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. It looks like I got burned. I think giving intention and time into what you actually want to do, you'll see fruits like come out of that. You'll, you'll bear fruits out of that and it will be more satisfying than like getting paid every month for something you don't enjoy doing. So what feelings have arisen from me leaving my job? I feel guilt. I feel shame. Ugh, you know, I, ha I haven't been this nervous to film a video since my why I left uni because it's one of those like vulnerable ones. But like I said, I'm gonna take you along this journey, like the good, the bad, the ups, the downs. And I could choose to see this as a down, but I'm trying to see it as an up because honestly, I'm still processing it. I've This is the first job I've ever left in my entire life. Like usually I just had to leave like my summer internship jobs, like just going back to school. But this is like, you know a place where you know i thought i could be long term but it just turns out like life happens you know Th this is a part of life and if i never experienced having to leave a job then how would i be a more well-rounded human being but the the shame and the guilt is just coming from like damn like <laughs> you quit uni and now you're quitting a job are you a quitter but i know it's not true but as my therapist always tells me, anxiety is a liar and it will lie to you. It will make you feel in ways it shouldn't. I'm pretty much done with my makeup because I told you I'm literally just doing my brows, concealer, eyebrows and a bit of blush. But the blush turned out to be a lot of blush. I feel scared that I no longer have this safety net. But, you know, we can't always be coddled and I still feel like I made the right decision. I feel excited. I feel excited that I get to spend more time on the things I love. I get to, you know, be more intentional with my shows and actually getting funding for that and YouTube getting back into what I love and my other shit on the side that I still haven't said for some reason but whatever like you know stuff like that so I am very excited and finally I also feel proud of myself that I I still have that bravery I had to leave a situation that was no longer serving me like with uni you know it was no longer serving me I still have the bravery to make an unconventional decision that i believe is best everyone has their own opinions is it bravery or is it stupidity i think it's bravery and i think i made an informed decision and clearly i'm not a conventional girl <laughs> i need to stop thinking that i'm such a conventional girl like i can do the conventional things like get a degree and be in steady employment like Maybe that isn't me. Maybe that is me. Maybe that isn't me. But I just don't think I'm a conventional girl. And that's been interesting to come to terms with. Because if I was, my life would be 10 times easier. <laughs> I wouldn't be on YouTube telling strangers about, about how different I am and quirkier. <laughs> what did I learn from having to leave a job? I learned that I, I hate not being good at things. And you're always gonna be bad at certain things i don't know why i think i have this complex that i can be good at everything no we can't and like i said this situation i think also served to humble me i learned that i'm a really hard worker i think uni made me believe that i wasn't but i am so i learned that i learned that i'm not and i don't have to be the perfect employee I learned that these are growing pains. When you're growing, when you're becoming the best version of yourself, you're gonna be put in situations where you're like, wow, was that necessary? And I was talking to a coworker and he was saying at 22, he actually joined the company when he was my age and now he's just like a few years older now. He said like he was like so unserious and you know lacked discipline and that kind of made me feel better and he was praising me for you know trying and having a good head on my on my shoulders and like pushing myself and that really encouraged me i'm not gonna lie so if you're watching thank you um it made me feel like yeah it's okay everyone's just trying to figure it out like 22 is still quite young so yeah growing pains <sighs> so i'll finish up my outfit put on some jewelry because we're just about to wrap up this video. I'm, gonna, I'm about to call my Uber to go to the station. But to wrap up, moving forward, what's the plan? I'm still focused on grinding. <laughs> um, just putting effort towards the things I like and the things I listed uh, before. I want to prioritize my health and wellness for time. I was telling my, my co-host that I, I can't remember the last time I intentionally exercised, which is just disgusting you're not disgusting but like you know i need to take care of like my physical health so i can also take care of my mental health and i just have not done that building up healthy habits steady habits now that i don't have the crutch of work to get me up in bed at the morning i need to now build up healthy habits to make sure i'm productive every single day radio shows youtube etc and finally keeping a positive mindset 
almost a delusional mindset that everything will be okay because everything will and everything will work out and I'm on the right path I'm not letting this hiccup break me down but rather build me up okay that's enough deep stuff <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching for joining me on this journey and I'll see you guys next week in the next one let me know what you think by the way in the comments and subscribe and like and share yeah <laughs> bye guys yeah. Je le peux dire en plein dans le clip qu'il me prend, j'ai